Hello and welcome to Ted's Baseball Vlogs and today I'm at uh, Cal State Fullerton for the Titans versus Gonzaga Bulldogs and uh, we're about ready to go in right now. The game starts at 6 o'clock. It's February 26, Saturday, 2022. This is actually my first college baseball game I've ever been to. I actually went to the school and I graduated in 2005 and I was there when the uh, Cal State of Fullerton won the World Series in 2004. And Justin Turner was actually on the team then. And I can't believe I did not ever go to a baseball game. Not a single game until 2022. <laughs> it's about what, like 17 years? I'm trying to do the math here. About 17 years since I graduated and I have not gone to a game until today. Try to be careful here because the music's pretty loud. I don't want to get a copyright. So I'm going to show you the um, behind left field. Flip the camera. So here's left field, Goodwin Field. Uh, national champions. Uh, here's 2004, 95, 84, 79. I'm actually going to some college baseball games because I don't know when Major League is going to start. They're going to get into an agreement. Okay. There's the Titans dugout. And that's the visitors dugout. Right there. Third base side. So it's about 30 minutes before first pitch and the Titans are warming up on their field, ready uh, for the game. I'm doing a voiceover because uh, the music's so loud, I don't really want to get a copyright, so that's why I'm doing this voiceover. And in right field, you can see Gonzaga warming up, tossing the ball back and forth to um, each teammate. And they're also getting ready as well while the Titans get ready on the infield and in left field. And adjacent to the uh, baseball field, we have the softball field behind the first base side. And it seems like foul balls can go over there too. As long as they land in the season, they don't land on the field. Fans can still get them. Behind home plate, we have the NCAA champion plaques of all the um, championships that Cal State Fullerton has won over the years. Their most recent NCAA championship was in 2004. I was actually going to that school. I was a transfer student, uh, transferred there in 2002 and graduated in 2005. As you can see that Justin Turner was on the team as well as Kurt Suzuki. Justin Turner is with the Dodgers and Kirk Suzuki is a catcher for the Angels. That's pretty cool. He was actually going there when I was going to school. They also have a plaque for reserve for future NCAA champions, which hopefully they do in the near future. Batting seventh left fielder number 15, Ezra Semperi. Batting eighth third baseman number 12, Kate McKee. And Fullerton Titans. And off to the Titans, second fielder number 38, Carter White. Batting second third baseman number one, Zach Lou. Batting third first baseman number five, Kaden Connor. Batting fourth left fielder number four, Jackson Ryan. Batting fifth, designated hitter number 37, Brendan Bobo. Batting sixth, right fielder number 30, Jason Brando. That's <laughs> in the fifth of lineup for your Calstick Burton Titan. Protected in the right field, a junior from Tampa, number 30, Jason Brando. Center fielder, a junior from Lakewood, number 38, Carter Wick. And a first baseman, a sophomore from Anaheim Hill, number 5, Hector Carter. Living off for Gonzaga, center fielder, number 3, Enzo Apodaca. There it is. There it is, baby. Yeah. 
Pitch. Man on third. Oh, left, him third. left him on third. Never heard of Gonzaga. Let's get out of the setting. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Definitely the right-handers area to be. 
for right-handed batters. Oh, there it goes. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Where's that going? To the softball field? Yep, there it is. <laughs> Onto the softball field. No man's land. <laughs> Oh, you load the bases that way. <laughs> Here, if he wasn't on a leash, he'd probably get the ball faster than us. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, on the other side. Did he get it? Go. Come on. What? Oh, oh. Too bad. <laughs> Buddy, home. Oh, another bullet right there. <laughs> they got it. They got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't have extended knittings here. <laughs> oh, no. I only hit one straight. <laughs> Send them foul. <laughs> oh, it hit his hand. Ooh. That's got to hurt. Pick him off. Okay. Pick him off. Oh, oh. His face. I hope he's okay, man. Checking him out. Oh, no. 
Oh, he's gonna make it home. Oh, let's not make it two. I hit him in the bum. Yep. A few seconds, you'll see some. Yep, here they come. <laughs> On the righty. <laughs> oh, we got out of it. We got two zero. Gonzaga. Back on Tuesday, and a three-game weekend series against Pepperdine next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday's game begins at seven. Two zero Gonzaga. Get your tickets now at HortonTitanTickets.com. That's HortonTitanTickets. something going. Here we go. Please tie the game. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. Oh, his name's Brandon. Not Brandon, but Brandon. Pretty close. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're gonna get the double play. Yep. All these double plays tonight. Oh, that's it. That's it. Game. <laughs> Final, so, final score, Gonzaga 2, Titan 0. Ladies and gentlemen, the scoreboard totals are correct for Gonzaga. Two runs, four hits Gonzaga. and no errors. For the Titans, no runs, five hits and no errors. For Gonzaga, now five and two on the year. The winning pitcher, William Kepner, now one and one. And to save the Michael Spalisi, his first. For the Titans, one and four on the year. The losing pitcher for the Titans, James Wombold, 0 oh and 1. So final score, Gonzaga wins, beats the Titans 2-0. Uh, seems like the Titans are getting off to a rough start. They've only won one game. They lost the rest of the games. You know, hopefully they can turn it around for the rest of the season. So anyways, hope you enjoyed uh, watching this uh, video. I definitely enjoyed my first college game ever. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.